Ladies and gentlemen, today in the Goela House of Finance, we have Sangeeta Chauhan. You know, very rarely in life, you get something like that, which in every walk of the field, mein, that person has excelled and that person knows no boundaries to his limitations. No one is not. For this person, Sangeeta Chauhan, ma'am, she was educated in law. She took a job in a public sector bank. वहां से शी शिफ्टेड टू अनदर पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक जहां पे शी रीच द जनरल मैनेजर पोजीशन एंड व्हेन शी रिटायर्ड वाज दैट इट फॉर हर एब्सोल्युटली नॉट शी वेंट ऑन विद हर पॉलिटिकल करियर जहां पे शी बिकेम द इलेक्टेड एमएलए फॉर नगावा सदन फ्रॉम अमरोहा डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन उत्तर प्रदेश आज के पॉडकास्ट में ना आई एम नॉट आस्क्ड अबाउट अ पॉलिटिकल करियर आई हैव आस्क्ड about public sector banks why are public sector banks failing what is the issue with public sector banks why can't they compete with private sector banks as investors should we invest in public sector banks ye bahut hi eye opening session hone wala hai so wait kis liye kar rahe ho headphones lagao main shuru kar raha hu so ladies and gentlemen today in the goela house of finance we have sangeeta chauhan ma'am ma'am आपका इतना बड़ा करियर रहा है बीइंग फ्रॉम यू वर अ लॉयर देन यू वेंट टू बैंक इंडस्ट्री आप सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ इंडिया के जीएम पोजीशन तक गए उसके बाद यू एक्चुअली वन एन इलेक्शन आप एमएलए पोजीशन में रहे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन हैं इस पॉडकास्ट में जो मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछने वाला हूँ इट विल बी मोर अराउंड द बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री की बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री कैसी है कैसी नहीं है तो सबसे पहला मैम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस टूडे एंड गिविंग टाइम थैंक यू तो मैम आजकल क्या चल रहा है I mean, I have been uh, more more on to politics these days. But hmm. then I obviously, because I am a person from the financial field, I keep my knowledge updated and try to understand what is happening in the banking industry. And uh, I have a very personal attachment with Central Bank of India, uh, and from where I retired as a general manager, I like to groom the young children. So I often go and sit in one of the branches, talk to them, understand hmm. how they work. try and give them some tips on how to work better so that you know i can share what the you know society gave me i would like to give back to the youngsters so that they know that you know uh, life is not all that tough always there are certain things you know with which you can improve your working your work style your whole uh, career can uh, opportunity can be different and uh, you know there are a lot of uh, inhibitions amongst the youngsters there uh, because i find that you know not many bosses like to interact with their uh, uh, people you know yeah. they don't mentor them yeah. so you know uh, i when i joined the banking industry i had very good mentors and uh, you know their influence on my life has been you know very very deep and uh, when i rose to a position where i felt i could you know uh, you know mentor people i took it upon myself and uh, i think uh, i did a good job because uh, one thing i remember that when initially you go into an organization you're like a lost sheep and True. if you don't have somebody to hold you hold your finger you can really go you know go hey wire and you don't know where to go so and a banking industry and a bank job initially puts you into a situation you know there are it's not a, it was when i was working it was not so formal initially that there was not that you from straight from when you join the day you join you you are posted in a branch say I uh, will, I when I ma'am when did you uh, join aapne uh, sidha central bank join kiya tha nahi in 1984 i joined bank of baroda as a probationary okay. officer okay and you will not believe i was i was practicing those days in delhi high court i had started practice in 82 uh. so and um, i was writing the ias i got into a group b service i did not join and i wanted to continue practicing law hmm. but my father thought that law was not a profession where women needed to be you know would be happy oh. and uh, he said it's not a good profession why don't you write bank exams because i had qualified the ias it was very easy for me i wrote so many bank exams i got selected in four wow. now i didn't know which one to take and then uh, i had an uncle in the finance ministry and i went and met him and he said the best bank today is bank of baroda this is 1984 this is 1984 oh. and in december 1984 i uh, joined bank of baroda and you will not believe i was posted in a rural semi urban branch in faridabad 
uh, and I was a person who had worked in Delhi High Court, which is air-conditioned, beautiful Ooh. atmosphere, <laughs> uh, studied in Delhi University, been to a good convent school, and then there was this absolutely urban setup, a uh, rural setup, where there were different kind of people, spoke a different language, and uh, there was uh, there were no women in that branch. I was the only woman. There was no w women's toilet. Men used to stand around, and you know it was wow. a very awkward situation for me initially. And I wanted to run away. Ma'am, ऐसा भी होता था कि वहाँ पे जाके मतलब they used to feel uncomfortable taking orders from a woman. उनके लिए ऐसा कि alien हो concept. Uh, actually, it's about how you deal with people more than hmm. how people deal with you. They were they were they were in awe. They were wondering what I would be, what I would do, but. I befriended them slowly, then I became their best friend. So then, you know, I used to get a lift on somebody's scooter to be dropped to the bus stand because it was very difficult to travel those days. It was not an easy journey. I can uh, we had to change buses and stuff and before I could land into that branch. And uh, but gradually I made my way, I made friends and, you know, I, I adopted their style and their language and then they all accepted me very gracefully. And uh, it was a it was a very different experience. You will not believe there were days from morning to night there was no electricity. In the, the branch. In the branch, because the electricity was something which a matter of discretion of the governments those days. <laughs> so there was there was a generator in the branch, and then it was uh, when I joined it was it was December closing time. Uh -huh. There used to be closing, and they gave me huge ledgers to you know total, uh -huh. and. I used to keep totaling, you know, and a pencil was given to me and they said, total career, total career, we were supposed to do balancing of books, which of which I had no idea about. But I used to sit down and total, you know, I reached a level where when I used to come home and sleep, I used to be sleep counting, totaling in my sleep. If I went to any bus stand and I saw bus numbers, I used to total them there also. <laughs> because I, I got so obsessed with totaling that I, because you know there were actually it was you know you didn't have very advanced computers or any kind of. Ah, because uh, up to this time, Excel sheets and simple courses are all. Yeah, yes, and you know then balancing of books was done manually. You know, so everything was tallied every day. The day book was written, and every day the, the books were balanced. And the branch manager's job was primarily to make sure that the balancing is done. Done properly. So, yeah, and you know there was a time that you could not even keep a difference of one paisa in the in the branch books. Wow. And uh, that was the kind of banking which was was there. And I can now imagine that if there is a mistake, to it to backtrack it would be also so, so difficult, difficult to find, find that. Out, ki, yeah. haan, to everything it. had to be done manually. So everything was written, done, tallied. And kept it. Also, there was an expertise, of course, involved in that. People who did it did it quickly and with a matter of. But for a person like me who had no background of this, was, it was it very tough initially. Too. But then gradually, you know, out of there, then to to customer dealing, to normal banking. In normal banking, also there were huge ledgers. One ledger used to weigh about five kilos, and wow. you had to pick that up. And you know, all the entries were made by the your maker. That was the clerk. Mm. And you were the officer, so you had to check. So every time the voucher used to be put in that ledger, brought uh -huh. to you, and you were made to sign, you know, tally, so to see that he had made it correctly, the entry was done correctly. End of the day, you used to all the entries which are done in the bank during that day, the every transaction was counter checked. So in the evening before you left the branch, you were actually checking whether what is you know you would tally it with the vouchers. The, the vouchers used to come to you. So some one person used to be checking savings, the other used to be checking FDR to make sure that what you did in the day did not go wrong. It is quite interesting because a second backup line here just to make sure that if somebody actually, makes a mistake, actually today's banking it is very different from what uh, we did because uh, with computerization actually you speak you see where where will you your only backup is your uh, you know CD and your, there are days when the server doesn't work you have no backups available to you there here the ledger was physical everything was in physical form hmm. obviously the with the growth of business uh, computerization came in and computerization was an essential thing which had to come in ultimately but uh, there was a lot of resistance in banks to computerization by the unions primarily because people thought unions union, banks have you know the public sector banks had unions, unions Achha. were uh, which fought for the rights of the individual or the employees. Achha, for so, all the yeah. bank employees, yes. union. Okay. So they feared that if the banks got computerized, 
the jobs the would be jobs vanished. would be less mm. which is a fact it now is a today fact, of course. i mean with the, the computer took away most of the jobs we are, remember we are we are an economy we are a country where we have millions we need employment so uh, factually speaking computerization is something which reduces jobs so what what a person used to do manually uh, the computer does uh, with ease तो मैम आई एम क्यूरियस सपोज अब आप फरीदाबाद के अपने सेमी यू आर इन द सेमी अर्बन ब्रांच राइट तो इफ सपोज यू हैव टू बैंक होता कि हेड ऑफिस में कुछ भेजना है तो हाउ विल यू सेंड दैट तो विल दैट लेजर बी पोस्टेड देयर नो दोस डेज देयर देस टू बी अ थिंग कॉल्ड अ टेलेक्स मशीन टेलेक्स मशीन ओके देयर वाज देयर वाज नॉट इवन अ फैक्स मशीन देयर ओके व्हेन आई जॉइन देयर वाज अ टेलेक्स मशीन सो देयर वर टेलेक्स मैसेजेस लाइक अ टेलीप्रिंटर हां टक 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 यू वुड टाइप एंड इट वुड गो देयर इट वुड रीच देयर or oh. and an std was something which was not there uh, you had to book a trunk call to to communicate you know even std came uh, std was a rare thing in phones it was not there in the brand so if you wanted to go to but fortunately you know there was a pco there so from there even if you wanted to make a call from faridabad to delhi i used to go to a pco to and then dial a code and then get get there so it was such a different day era with no mobiles no computer you know i recently had a session or i was giving example of hindustan motors आज ही लोगों को आजकल एंड स्पेशली दे डोंट इवन नो व्हाट हिंदुस्तान मोटर्स इज तो मैं सोच रहा हूं जो टेलेक्स मशीन एंड जो पीसीओ को बता रहे हो तो आई थिंक इट मस्ट बी एलियन टू मोस्ट ऑफ द या इफ यू एक्चुअली इफ यू एक्चुअली ऑल दीस थिंग्स शुड बी पुट इन अ म्यूजियम टू नो एट लीस्ट दैट दे एग्जिस्ट एंड दैट वाज अ वेरी फंक्शन यू नो उसके बाद नेक्स्ट थिंग व्हिच केम अप वाज अ फैक्स मशीन व्हिच वाज अ बिग इनोवेशन because we could actually fax our messages across it. you know we could actually fax the paper across see in a teleprinter what you could do is टाइप ऑफ सब थिंग्स जो हाँ जो क्रूशल नो लाइक हमको अपना प्रॉफिट लॉस देना है तो हमको एक्स अमाउंट कोट करना है या हमको एक एक चीज लिख के भेजनी है तो विच वॉज डन वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिकली नाउ इन दिस केस वॉट वी नीडेड टू डू वॉज एक्चुअल वी हैड ए फैक्स मशीन यू कूड एक्चुअली सेट द डॉक्यूमेंट इट वॉज समथिंग सो गुड यू नो समथिंग सो न्यू वाओ यू नो एवरीबडी से फैक्स इट फैक्स इट अच्छा एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द बैंक इन दोज डेज बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा हैड इट्स हेड ऑफिस इन मुंबई and uh, we had uh, and uh, the regional office was in delhi so uh, communication had to be either way is going on and the uh, telephone was also great some days it used to function 90% of the time the line was down and uh, electricity was a rarity so life was very 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 uh, different lot of things had to be done physically by a person the messenger would go down and give the papers physically to the regional office and uh, courier services were also slow postal it services were different ma'am ki ha as matlab shall we don't appreciate it as much but banking industry and technology ne actually has made life so easy matlab just hearing about your experience 84 mein kaisa hota tha aur ab kaisa hai matlab it's a mujhe to bada difficult lag raha hai to even imagine ki you know us samay operation se kitne mushkil hote honge and dependence on every person ek bande ki kuch bhi mistake ho gayi it can physically it was busy. yeah but then the mistake is you know human errors still happen on the computer it can happen also no it's not that mm-hmm. it cannot mm-hmm. happen mm-hmm. but then you know one thing the systems of checks and balances in the bank was so perfect those days because everything was physically checked cross checked so the chances of getting a mistake was very different very nice. you know i was in bank of baroda i was in gk1 branch i remember one customer acha to pehle aap faridabad mein the fir you shifted to uske baad main regional office mein thi i was doing uh, you know i was doing the administrative i worked in the administrative setup there you know there i got uh, that that is where i met my real mentors who taught me a lot in banking uh, you know i remember my first regional manager was a gentleman called vg subramaniam i remember him very fondly hmm. and i you know he was a, uh, you know he was he was quite tough you know and i remember at uh, most of the staff used to leave at those days were good old times when people could actually leave uh, the office at 5 o'clock mm. and the moment i used to pick up my bag he used to there there used to be intercom now the intercom was one you know it used to ring buzz it was mm. like a buzz so that buzz used to come from number 1 meant that the regional manager is calling me so i said yes sir he says how can you leave the office at 5 o'clock you are a probationary officer in the bank yes sir and at 5 o'clock he would give me an assignment to <laughs> wow. do ha huh? and uh, 
then I used to keep sitting till about and seven. And baaki sab chale jaate the. Ah, everybody else. So the one or two, one or two persons would remain. Mm. And then I used to say, today you do this. You know, when the, that was a quieter time. If you wanted to get something confidential, studied or done, because he knew I was a lawyer, I had a different background than most other people. So he would use my services in a different manner, and you know, which actually mentored me and you know taught me a lot of things. And then I used to sit down and do that work till about seven, seven thirty. And then very sheepishly ask, "Can I leave now?" You know, and uh, but you know that was my my exposure to life, my True. first experience with people, and uh, they were all very nice to me. And uh, I don't know I, that that place uh, had a culture of its own. Bank of Baroda is an excellent organization to work in initially, and uh, you know it it kind of paved the way for me to rise further in the in central bank when I joined. Uh, on a higher scale, and then worked. Uh, you know, it gave me. I had came on a higher. I was on a different pedestal because I had worked in a very good organization. So, ma'am, up central bank, me. So, you joined at what position? I joined. Uh, you know, I joined. I uh, I took. An, I joined as a, a law officer in central. Law bank. officer. Fair. You then, went to. Then uh, you know, when I was, I was, I, I worked there uh, as a law officer and did all kinds of legal work, including uh, you know, looked after all the cases of the bank in the Supreme Court. And for f- about fourteen years, I worked as in the legal department. Okay. Uh, then there was a very funny policy of the banks, which said that if you are a specialist officer, hmm. you cannot uh, get promotion to a oh. higher level beyond a certain chief, uh, chief manager level. Now, I was not interested in stagnating in life. I hmm. wanted to go up, up in life. So I decided to take conversion at a certain stage of my career uh. because promotions were very slow. Opportunities for promotion used to hardly come. We used to really rot in one skill for a long, long, long time. There was never, you know, interview hote hi nahi the. There was never a, you, know, you never got an opportunity to go up. So for, for people like me, it was very frustrating. And do you think, ma'am, so, you being a woman, up this was hard difficult? Tha? Aisa kuch tha? Uh, Have you ever faced this? Well, of course. I mean, uh, being a woman. Uh, you acceptance for of women uh, in the banking sector and in at higher positions becomes uh, very um, is obviously lesser than what is for your male counterpart you have to work twice as harder to prove your mm. worth with these people because you know what was happening is ke if you are if you are good uh, you had to you know being a woman you had to you had to stand out and show So you are. Some people appreciate that, but most people were not very, you know, accepting. And even uh, uh, I remember when I uh, when I then I I opted for conversion hmm. to become a branch manager, which was after a law officer. I imagine I went as a chief manager to a place in Ghaziabad. Okay. Ghaziabad also that branch was in Ghantagar. Absolutely. You know, a place where the car would not enter. You had to actually walk through. Ha, parking to jagah. Parking was no chance, and you know, and uh, there was this branch, and you know, I was absolutely the again problem of a toilet. There was no toilet mm. for a woman. There was no atmosphere to sit. The air conditioning wouldn't work. There was no electricity uh, again. And which year is this? Two thousand four. Two thousand four. And electricity again, big problem in UP those days. There was hardly any electricity, and uh, you know, when I went, I saw. He looked around. It was a huge area, 2,500 square feet down, upper first floor again, but badly kept. One wall was wall was blue, one was yellow, the other was another <laughs> color. So then I said, you know, fuck, my God, I need to be doing something different here. So what uh, I asked those people, I I begged with everybody that why don't we, you know, at least paint this place. Who will do it? Oh, it's too messy. We can't do this. So we had this painter coming to my house. So one day I told him, "Can you paint my bank?" He said, "Yeah, on the weekend." I said, "Okay, you come. You take your labor there. There uh-huh. is place to stay. You live there, hmm. and you paint my over a Saturday and Sunday, or two holidays they were." So he painted the whole bank. Uh-huh. At least it was in one color. Right? <laughs> Otherwise, you know, people. The mindset was such. People didn't care. Uh-huh. So until I thought, until I have an atmosphere to sit and you know be comfortable, I cannot do business. Uh, initially, when I went to that branch, I saw there were hardly any people. There was no footfall. People, you know, the branch used to be hardly people used to hardly come. So, it, but it was a market area. And ma'am, you were at what position at that branch? I was a chief manager. Chief manager. Chief Which manager. Which is scale four. ठीक है मतलब ब्रांच मैनेजर या दोस एट वन टाइम रीजनल मैनेजर्स यूज्ड टू बी स्केल फॉर इट वाज अ वेरी सफिश 
it was a reasonably big uh, operation and I had four extension counters under me. It was like a mini regional office. So those four extension counters were also so shabby, harsh, I cannot tell you. I wow. went around, I actually hired my own carpenters looking for them, tried to, you know, redo all those places to make them just habitable and functional. When I went to a, a extension counter which had about, a, you know, those days 20 crores was a lot of money. It mm. was in a college. There were about 25 crores business in that. The branch manager was sitting on a chair, you will not believe, you know, the extension counter in charge was sitting on a chair which didn't have a handle. So wow. my first in expression was, you know, what to do? I just pulled him from the collar. So he didn't even know who I was because I just, you know, joined the branch at that time. And he looked at me, he was aghast. I said, you have no shame. You're sitting on this bloody chair. You're, rep you're, you're, you're representing Central Bank of India. Do you have any shame in you? Don't you, you don't even think you can, you know, put a proper chair here. Oh, who will sanction, who will give? I said, I said you know, I will, I will slap you. But you know, what is happening here? So, you know, the mindset was so poor. People are just about functioning. You know, uh, job security in their minds, unions at their, you know, helm, trying to help them. So, you know, things, things obviously, over the years, things have now. And union, private sector banks may be other. Oh, private sector banks don't really, they have different kind of HR policies. They don't allow they unions don't allow to, unions. they don't allow unions. Here, what happened is, in public sector, government organization, this was, those were the days when, you know, uh, the um, unions were very, very active. And Central Bank had four, six unions. So Central Bank was a particularly, very, very actively, Union oriented bank. So, yes. matlab, every employee, it is very safe to assume that there is union. Pe hoga. Yes, mostly. Achha, hai. Ha, matlab, say about 95% of the employees would be part of some union or the other, and the Neta would protect him. Hmm. How much he protected him was also a question which is uh, which is something which I would uh, not like to comment on. But then, but that, that general security was in his mind that if I do some. See, banking is, a, you know, banking entails a lot of financial transactions. Remember this. So any loss to the bank would mean a loss to your job also, no? Yeah. So the punishment would also be more severe for the person. He might have to compensate for the loss. So mm. sometimes, see, if your HR, HR policies are not, uh, you know, governing uh, systems which are, you know, which are helping the employee, the unions were there like protection, protectors to the people. Mm. It was it was necessary at that juncture because possibly the department. You see, remember the bank is big. It's, uh, my bank had like Central Bank at that time had about four thousand branches all over India, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. The head office is in Mumbai, and uh, branches all over. Now uh, locally, who would help you if you have, you know lot of people are. You see, even the education level of the employees was not very high. Yes, ma'am, because I feel, see, uh, it's a two-edged sword that yes, one way employees should also be protected. But if it's too much overdue, then it can uh, Yeah, it can cause problem. a lot of problems also because then they, they hamper development of the organization also. So, at some juncture, then the ministry took a viewpoint on this and, and did crush the unions. Hmm. Uh, in a way that they were, you know, uh, that they were not so long, you know, now the unions, though they exist and the, the majority unions and all are taken into confidence uh, for the, for all kinds of major policy decisions which are taken for the employees, yet their role is not as active as what I remember it to in, be when I joined the bank, yes. So ma'am, after that, you went to AGM level? Uh, yeah, then, then I became an AGM and then, you know. AGM is? A, uh, just assistant general assistant manager. General manager? Yeah, and then uh, when I became AGM, then again, the bank wanted to experiment because, you know, I was, I showed my marketing acumen. I, in this branch, which I was telling you in Ghaziabad, hmm. it was fairly God forsaken in those times. I got business from all over, you know, uh, and uh, that branch business grew many, many fold by the time I left it. Mainly because I could, you know, I use my marketing skills to tap bigger organizations, get bigger business. Also, I also made sure that, you know, in the market where I was sitting, everybody had an account there. Most people would not come into the branch, you know. I had actually to physically walk 
across the market and meet people and say why are you not coming to my wow at the asian level i can imagine ek ek ego to hoti hai ki yaar how can i do this no, but i i so i so always feel very sad ki how can my branch which is so big with so much space with so much wo i cannot my customer is not there without a customer what is a bank what is a branch about so once my you know i i really worked hard i i kind of grew the business the bank decided to post me to uh, you know as an agm to noida branch i was there for a while then i they um, took a policy decision to appoint a marketing vertical i had been harping about this for a long time i said we have everything in the bank but we don't market what we have we have so many products we have so many by products which we which need to be marketed you see uh, till now banking uh, in most cases in, in india uh, in public sector was uh, basically deposit and advance mm. and advance at uh, you know uh, basically retail advance mm. uh, uh, corporate uh, lending was very limited in public sector those days But the focus was on basically uh deposits getting deposits fixed deposits and even giving loan on those deposits or looking for ample security and some some amount of housing loans vehicle loans mortgage loans and were happening but the volumes were obviously very limited now uh, gradually over a period of time it came to be seen that people realized that uh, uh, banking cannot function with simple deposit net interest margins and we need to grow business that is when other when because once the private sector came into the market mm. obviously we were thrown away because private sector had the advantage of computerization yeah no, no, ye bahut major point hai jaise i'll tell you ki uh, private sector banks i'll let's talk about the youngsters theek hai to i'm sure jo bhi yahan views hoga na sabke dimag mein ek cheez chalti hai ki yaar मुझे अपना अकाउंट पी एस यू में नहीं खुलाना जबकि पेरेंट्स हम मोर इंक्लाइन टू वर्ड्स किया पब्लिक सेक्टर में खोलो क्योंकि पासबुक कैन बी यूज एज आई डी प्रूफ एंड स्टाफ बट यंग से वेरी क्लियर कि मतलब दे फील कि पब्लिक सेक्टर में करना पड़ेगा तो ब्रांच वाइज से बात करनी पड़ेगी और धक्के खाने पड़े स्टीरो टिपिकल जो चलता आ रहा है सो वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू से टू दैम जिनके यंगस्टर्स दिमाग में कि पी एस यू इज नॉट अ गुड प्लेस टू ओपन थिंग देर आर मेजर एडवांटेजेज ऑफ गोइंग टू पी एस यू not that psus don't have net banking we can we are also now uh, we have we give all the services which a private bank gives you we also have net banking we can give you passbooks on everything is online even i am doing most of my work online now yeah, i, I mean, think every every i think most of the psu central bank inclusive sab online aa gaye but sabke dimag mein ek wo perception bana hua hai no ek perception hai ki hdfc will give you better service icici will give you better service i can tell you if you are looking for any kind i when i had the good opportunity of visiting many countries and their banks during hmm. my career uh, through the bank and we had a training program in b schools uh, in Spain, in France, in Germany. Now, basically, we went to analyze their economies and how the banks function. You will be surprised. Uh, in Bank National de Paris, uh, we were taken there and shown a branch where they said, "Here we deal with people." You know, there was one branch where we were actually, which was showcase where the branch manager sat there and spoke to people. <laughs> Here you have the advantage. the branch manager is a friendly chap or a woman who sits there and you know listens to your problems solves your problem and and let me tell you the youngsters are very bright and smart it is a very big misnomer that uh, people are not going to public sector banks public sector gives you a lot better service in many uh, forms and uh, yes and you, your paperwork is complete if you are you are in a, uh, looking for a loan today we are doing aggressive uh, marketing on that and uh, they give you a better rate of interest they give you they give you you don't ha- you don't have any pay- pre payment penalties you mm. save a lot no and you are not due nothing. there is no hidden cost there is so much of advantage of going to a public sector i don't know what is the inhibition i know uh, because a lot of people they switch jab loans chal rahe hote hain they switch from private to, to public, public because sector. private sector really yeah. pushes them around yeah because i don't know because there is this to- see i'll tell you what happened is at one stage of uh, oh, uh, pu- public sector suffered because they had not gone into computerization initially and this these banks which came in icici hdfc and others they were jeddex banks 
when they came in they had computerization obviously ahead of us मैम ये सब बैंक्स प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक्स कब आना शुरू हुए मार्केट में लेट नाइन्टीज लेट नाइन्टीज लेट नाइन्टीज ठीक है हाँ एंड अर्ली टू थाउजेंड में तो ये लोग जब वेन दे केव इन देव देव मोर एग्रेसिव एंड पीपल एंड मोर अट्रैक्टिव सी प्लीज रिमेंबर वॉट दे डिड वॉज रिमेंबर देयर ग्रोथ वॉज को एक्सटेंसिव विद दी ग्रोथ ऑफ दी एम एन सीज कमिंग इन टू इंडिया वेन द मल्टी नेशनल्स केव इन दे प्रोटेक्ट कल्चर अलॉन्ग नो एंड मल्टी नेशनल्स व primarily uh, you know doing uh, bpo business or they were doing you know remember the kind of business multinationals are today also doing mm-hmm. bulk mm-hmm. so what they were doing is these banks were going and approaching them and giving them services at the counter say the the whole of uh, the whole salary account of a bpo is taken over obviously this is big business no big business acha now uh, uh, because of their additional marketing skills uh, Uh, people like uh, banks like hdfc and others were able to offer different kind of services on a platter to people okay mm-hmm. like i mean when when i went to uh, paris say we were shown a kind of a place a computer now even i in our bank we can do it they they actually gave you a planner say harsh's salary is 1 lakh rupees a month now uh, once you enter harsh's details about his salary then the bank will say okay harsh you can have one saving account you can save so much by way of insurance this much should go into your mutual fund after so many years you will get so much money so all this kind of thing was offered to them shown to them so people uh, so what psu did not do was sell more than one product say a person came to open a saving account with me or for a fixed deposit i was not able to sell them anything additional to what i was already selling I mean, like today we are doing it again. We have started also in the last few years. We've done it, but actually, what what HDFC was doing is, Hush, why don't you take a mutual fund also? Hush, why don't you do? So their income came from the other sources, cross selling wow. of products, which we lacked big time. And till today, I am very surprised, and I I find it still very very uh, unnerving. with public sector banks we have still not been able to develop our marketing verticals the way should they should have been wow ma'am i said this is so interesting because to pehle to these big banks they approach big organizations unko bola ki hum aapko loan bhi denge aur aapke salary salary accounts hamare paas aa jayenge right and dusra look at the cost it was but but hmm. at what cost did they give you loans at what cost did they give you wo uh, today when i repaid you know i remember once we took a loan from an hdfc bank and i went and repaid now my my loan in central bank is at 6.7 or something hmm. my housing loan they were charging me more than 10% How look at the cost this is a yeah. huge and difference. then they said if you want to change your rate of interest you come and pay me x amount so wow. whereas the public sector never does that never does that remember they called very interesting before the i think interview also talking ki ek average sgfc or any private sector bank user he will use at least फाइव प्रोडक्ट्स ये तो मैंने भी सुना है कि अगर प्राइवेट सेक्टर में एफडी कराने जाओ भी ब्रांच में तो पचास हो जाएंगे म्यूचुअल फंड वाला इंश्योरेंस वाला वो छोड़ेंगे नहीं हाँ कि बिकॉज उन्होंने आउटसोर्सिंग करी हुई है लोगों की मेरा भी मानना है वी शुड आल्सो बी डूइंग दिस इन अ सिमिलर वे वी आर वी आर नाउ डूइंग इट नॉट एट सच अ लार्ज स्केल से से इमीडिएटली द क्रेडिट कार्ड मैन विल कम विद यू सो यू विल टेक अ क्रेडिट सो मैम व्हाई कांट पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक्स मार्केट लाइक प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक्स uh look uh, there is a intrinsic difference between the uh, functioning of both the banks a uh, uh, pub- public sector banks have a major problem of uh, you know recruitment okay. we are not there are huge amount of retirements happening in the bank recruitment has not been proportionate because maybe the long term objective of the government has been to switch over to the you know take merge banking into banks, no. yeah m- merger Uh, actually policies have been different in governments they've been thinking of mergers they've been thinking of privatization but they have yet to come to a conclusion on most cases because i'll tell you public sector has to exist in banking sector Why it cannot that? go away because of the security level attached to the payments you know a ba- when you put your money in a bank you're putting all you have True. and uh, the trust factor with the public sector is obviously much higher higher than what it has been in the pri- Uh, private sector banks and uh, most people would still like to keep an account with SBI, Bank of Baroda, 
and you know central bank has been such an old organization one it's of the been oldest, oldest banks, banks in, our country, in yeah. our country and uh, you know we have more than 5000 branches actually know? central bank i was reading somewhere it was one of the f- first banks in india to give the option of card card credit card i think it's credit card debit card first no no i'll banks. tell you central bank was much ahead of that it was a parsi bank and it was at one time run by tatas we were the ones who brought in the locker for the first time yes locker we yes, lockers, yes, yes we yes. brought in recurring deposit schemes we we gave a saving account to people you know there was a thing called a recurring deposit scheme this is like a piggy bank you know where people used to put save their money there was a time when you was a you were a kid i'm sure you had a little piggy bank where you put in 10 rupees 20 rupees 50 rupees 100 rupees whatever money you got you saved in that uh, uh, central bank uh, brought in a recurring deposit scheme where every month you could you know there was this cdms deposit used to mm-hmm, be called mm-hmm. a person would come collect 100 rupees from you per month and that was your saving you know and uh, similarly the locker was first of all lockers were introduced by central bank of india so there was lot of first with central bank brought in because those days and you know you will not believe women used to not uh, go to the banks and in hyderabad in lucknow where the begums used to go to operate their lockers the nawabs had actually given us buildings we have we still have the central bank zonal office in the nawabs building in hyderabad the nawab had gifted us that property wow. because it's so that is there was always a dressing table there a neat place to sit where she could try out her jewelry you know that was wow. the style of functioning you see in public sector i i also went to a private sector to see what a locker would be like you go to a public sector to go to go into their locker section they will still have a dressing table there Achha, that is the cause. I always wondered uh-huh. why is there a mirror in the locker which yes. yeah, yeah. because women will actually go try out their jewelry see what they wanted to take <laughs> home and what they wanted to put back that was the reason <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, and you know those, those are the times when the you know imagine the, I was posted in Ashoka Hotel branch it was a 24-7 branch that was the first concept in 1960 Jawaharlal Nehru decided that he wanted a money exchange counter and uh, which would run 24/7 still in the giddies book you will find the name of a shoka hotel branch central bank shoka yes, branch yeah. today also we run that money exchange counter you can go at one in the night. see times have changed there was a time foreign exchange was very dear people used to travel abroad and people would not get foreign exchange central bank of india ashoka hotel branch had a money exchange counter which ran 24/7 and wow. still runs ma'am to so this is what what pinches i think the sabka question is ki when public sector had such a huge lead theek hai aur matlab aur central bank of india to i feel ki technologically bhi it was way advanced then how come itni jaldi wo within a, i think couple of decades ek do decades mein at least for the cream of the india matlab jo top 2% population wahan pe pura private sector has overcome matlab marketing why where are we lack, lacking in private public see, sectors see what happens is a branch premises see we they were these where the new banks came they gave you very fancy looking premises uh, central bank or banks like other you know public sector banks were running in old premises not money much money was invested in restructuring hmm. refurbishing later we also went about but we did it after the banks had already come in then all these people as i told you entered the the salary structures of various organizations they took over the salary accounts which with which their casa grew you know and uh, they took current account saving account and and they give you a fancy option which uh, a fancy advanced option they had net banking which was way ahead of us we we developed it later see we were we because of our advance in technology being later than what it was in these places we were caught in that that is why we were left behind so it, but it, it, remember one thing we have a, a major role is still to protect a society of teeming millions where 70% of the population lives in rural areas true you, the private sector is not going to go and provide a jandan account he is not providing you any kind of security he is not giving you crop loans you know so that at that level is where the public sector came in mm. is still functioning the number of branches of public sector is so much higher every rural uh, sector has a branch many banks and they are the pillars of the rural economy 
plus today the government scheme where the government pays money to people that is where the security comes from so there is there, so we don't Ma'am, have ab jaise you right public sector ka bank ka role if if public sector banks were not there india would never reach be reached at this economic situation kyun kyunki gaon mein koi branch nahi kholta aur ab private sector banks ko profitability chahiye unko ek tier c city mein profit nahi milne wala to wahan wo branch kholenge hi nahi जबकि पब्लिक सेक्टर ब्रांच खोलेगा और जैसे जनधन अकाउंट्स जीरो बैलेंस अकाउंट्स या पचास इसमें तो वैसे भी देर इज नो मार्जिन ऑफ एनी प्रॉफिट बट वाई कंट द आर बी आई फोर्स प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक टू डू बैंकिंग देयर ऑल्सो दे आर नाउ कमिंग अप विद सर्टन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन विद दैट बट इनिशियली दे डि नॉट इंसिस्ट ऑन दैट ना नाउ दे आर टेलिंग दैम दैट यू हैव टू ओपन दम एक्स नंबर ऑफ ब्रांच इज यर देर बट आई कैन स्टिल सी दैट द वॉल्यूम्स आर नॉट वेरी हाई Uh, I mean, uh, if you go anywhere in the country, you will find a state bank branch. Now, the whole idea was that state bank, post office, these things were run, brought in into the Indian economy because uh, uh, the government understood at that juncture that this kind, this segment needs needs protection from the local money lender. The mm. local money lender would lend at hefty amounts, take away the land of the farmer. Today, uh, with uh, with the um, lending in the rural areas and the and the function of the uh, pub, public sector being to protect the uh, rural sector and the and the sector which is you know economically weaker and needs protection uh, that is the reason why uh, you know the profit is not the margin of the public sector so public sector ka main it's it's a working for socialist cause also not yeah. only profit yeah so see uh, remember it was only there for a social cause initially Mm. profit was something which we thought of at a later stage that is why we were left behind these people came with the objective of profit so they are ahead of you because they are they are businessmen When remember when you see them coming 10 years ago now i see public sector banks be digitalization is up ho raha and you get good services now i don't see ki if you go to a psu branch then you are treated as badly jo pehle bahut pehle hota tha ab i don't think that is at least in my experience where do you see the coming 10 years for psus would uh, for you do you think it will be better or would be worse where do you see it? see psus have to be there because they are meant to be they are going to, they are sustainable model they will be there only thing is government policies vary from time to time so that because of that the confusion has been as to whether we should go but i think any person with some sanity in their mind should definitely keep their money behind a psb not with a private sector bank private sector may be used for other services may be for some convenience factors in certain cases but my to my mind if i were to open an account if i were to advise even the youngsters they should definitely go in for that we have net banking we have all the good things which you need either way you are if you are if your technology is uh, your tech friendly your uh, you know your phone is your main passbook everything is available even even mm. central bank offers it bank of baroda offices everybody offers you offers you the same services today i open, i don't need to go to the bank to see my true, balance true. i have everything available on my yeah. phone so why uh, why should i not go for a more secure place as my option than to go to a public, uh, to a private, private sector, sector. True. private sector will definitely go for a profit motive whereas a public sector will go with a bigger social cause the government uh, runs those banks the government has a majority shareholding they have uh, the uh, the systems and controls of of the of the government and reserve bank they are applicable to all big banks in the private sector also but mm. obviously the motives of both the organizations are different this is very interesting ma'am because uh, i feel aaj na matlab it's like i went through a journey ki ek to banking industry kahan se kitna evolve kar gayi hai and seeing the side of a public sector bank bhi samajh aata hai because a lot of people shayad hum ye shayad appreciate nahi karte ki agar public sector banks were not there to jo majority of a country have jo 70% of the rural country we have wo kabhi bhi grow kar hi nahi pati acha ma'am finally ab ek ek thoda common question tha when you became the general manager of central bank so how is the general manager life to so, aisa hota hai ek badi gaadi aas paas sab yes men khade hue hain you have phone calls 24/7 jaise general manager hota hai how was How is it like being a general manager of a public sector bank? It depends on the way you want it to be. Uh, if you decide that you are there for the organization and you have to see the growth of the organization, then you must have a plan in place as to where, what department you are assigned and how you can improve that. Mm. So whatever you are given should be done well. 
and secondly you should be a ro- you know lead by example you should be a role model for people so that people the youngsters look up to you and decide and see that you know this is the way we should be functioning you should mentor the youngsters you should a, a good leader is one who creates many more leaders you should not be selfish about the knowledge you, you hold you need to mentor people jaise aapne bola ki how your mentors had such a positive impact in yes, your career yes because they mentored me i became what i am similarly i also like to go and mentor children and the youngsters in the bank do look up to me and i'm very proud of the fact that people are comfortable to come and discuss their problems with me and i also feel that you know uh, you know if you guide a person at the right stage at the right time with your experience experiences are meant to be shared so ma'am uh, hamari bahut audience hogi who maybe want to apply for a position in banks in a public sector bank or a private sector bank aur ya kya ab tak kaam hi kar rahe ho what would be your advice to them on how one advice on how to work in a banking industry in a country see whatever you do whatever work you do in life you should be your focus should be that you should do it well and integrity should be the mm. topmost thing you should do it with whatever you do with integrity and good thought and positive thinking do some research work find out how the others function always compare yourself with the peers you know if you are in the public sector see how your private sector peers work mm. if you are in a private sector see how the public sector functions you i'm sure you can gather something good from each other which i always did when the public sector came around i used to visit the branches look at them see how can i improve my branch how can i improve my working what i can do better for the public this is the way we should function we should have a good mix because in this society today in our uh, world today uh, there is there is a mix of the public sector and the private sector we should take a mix of both and see what suits us better but we should also try and improve on both both sides the public sector should take you from the private sector and the private sector should also see how the public sector functions and you know where where they are helping the society i'm sure they also have a corporate social responsibility attached to them yeah. and um, profit is not the only motive they should be working for and i'm sure they are taking care of that aspect chali ma'am thank you so much for joining us today and it was a pleasure to have you i hope you had a good time with us thank you so much i also relived many of my moments thank you <laughs>